Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're playing Dragon Age Origins. Uh, my name is Rowan. I forgot to mention that. Um, so, in the last episode, we basically finished up in Denarim and the Alienage. And here we are, ready at, ready to uh, take some action at the Land's Meet. My lords and ladies of the Land's Meet. Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? Very well said, Eamon. <laughs> A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops? Or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince. What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? There are enough refugees in my Benorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlais? The blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. What's this? There is no slavery in Ferelden. Explain yourself. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the Blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the Elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. Indeed, do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed. If not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself. 
South Reach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, I think I got this easily. He's got a shield. That means he's a weak warrior. Not that I have anything against shield, sword and shield warriors. <laughs> he probably actually hits pretty hard on, on this difficulty. Perfect striking. Oh shit. Concentrated death root. Soul rot. We got all this. Oh shit. Oh man. <laughs> Time to do a potion, I guess. Jeez. It does hit hard. Yes. I I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Wait, there is another option. The Tern is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. There are too few of us. It's not a matter of what we like, it's a matter of what we must do. Our duty is to slay the Archdemon. We aren't judges. Kinslayers, blood mages, traitors, rebels, carter thugs, common bandits, anyone with the skill and the metal to take up the sword against the Darkspawn is welcome among us. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are Compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. Well, that's a bug. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? That's what she's saying. 
Absolutely not. Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora. Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. Oh, why you gotta do me like that, man? Turn him into a sympathetic character at the very end? What the hell? Jeez. And he takes it like a man. Look at that. Uh, she gets covered in blood if you have persistent gore enabled. Oh, gosh. That's horrible, man. I feel bad. <laughs> so it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear, then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? Okay, so here's the deal. In the third game, there is something important that happens that's pretty much unavoidable. You lose either Alistair or your character from the second game. I'm not going to go into too much detail on what happens for that to happen but let's just say that there's the only way to avoid this is and this is what i've been going for all along um in this game i didn't think i'd be able to but i i'm gonna try um is make alistair the king with the warden as his queen which is why i romanced alistair As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? You can have them both marry, and then of course I go off into the wild blue yonder. But Alistair would be super pissed about that. I can have Queen Honora uh, become just the queen, or Alistair just become the king. Technically, these two, either of these two would work, but I think Alistair needs a little bit of a uh, backbone, and the Warden makes a good backbone. Really? You will? This is where I wake up, usually. Or oh, everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, <laughs> the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well, then. Guards, take her away. Man, I feel dirty. <laughs> Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight, but we will face it 
And we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. And the lands meet is done. On to the final battles in the game. So, strange story. Tell me if you've heard this one. This fellow gets made king and then gets engaged all on the same night. <laughs> I'm not thrilled with the idea of being king. I never wanted it, I told you that. Yet here I am. Not much to be done now. I suppose I'm more curious about, you know, the engagement. I, I like the idea, but are you sure? I guess that saves me having to ask then. <laughs> Whew. They'll expect an heir, you know. With the taint in our blood, it's hard enough for a Grey Warden to have a child on their own. For two of them, every Grey Warden I knew who had children, had them before they took the joining. Having an heir might not be possible. I didn't think about that. We're not going to have an heir, which means that the Theron line is going to end. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's an excellent point. Good thing we got started when we did, huh? I suppose this is something we'll just have to deal with later. My coronation isn't going to happen for some time yet, and we've still the Darkspawn to fight. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe, and he says the armies have almost finished gathering there. We should go to Redcliffe as soon as possible. If we don't deal with the Archdemon soon, it'll get cranky, and nobody wants that. Yes, swooping is bad. All right. Oh, we got a level here. Oh, no, we didn't. We just got a point somewhere. Just gonna put it in archery. Yeah. Not that we're really gonna be using archery, but never know. Let's put some more of these on the bottom. Shock coating, demonic poison, concentrated, concentrated venom. We never really used any of this stuff, did we? It's one thing that I suck at in games is using all of the resources available to me. I tend to just ignore certain extra things like alchemy and first aid and stuff like that. I'll try to get better, better at it, guys. Although, in my defense, I do tend to make it through these games with relative ease despite not having all of those resources. So, um, Give me a second. I just got a couple texts. I'm going to pause it. All right. My apologies. Guess that weight came uh, came in handy anyway. Health's back at full, so that's good. Hey, that's another one that we could use. All of these. Nah, we're probably not going to be using Soldier's Bane. Let's let Morgan. I think we can make. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so we have to actually... Uh, I was going to have Morgan uh, make us potions. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to go to it. Let's see what it says now. That's still here. That's still here. I don't think we could complete these. We must have missed something. Sorry, guys. Luckily, these aren't anything crazy, like where they affect the game really in any way. It's just missed gold and maybe missed experience a little bit. 
Uh, anyway, final battle. Yeah, so we're going to go to Red Cliff. That's where the Dark Spawn have, uh, are headed. So we're going to go to Red Cliff and, and try to take Red Cliff back. Of course, we're going to have Alistair. Yes. Indeed. We have Liliana. And yes. win. That's our dream team. Oh, look at this. We can actually trade out oh, temporarily funny. to get Morgan. So that way we can have, uh... We can have her make our potions. That's... Yes, yes, yes. I'll give you Mind Blast. Oops, you get one more. Force field. There we go. And make us some excellent health po po potions. Yeah, look how many we can make, guys. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe not that many. Man, we can make a bunch of lyrium po potions too. Anything else? Lift this off. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even know this was an ex uh, this existed. Let us be on our way. All right, let's get rid of Morgan. Get wind back. Damnation. Off I go. Double check our inventory here. Make sure we don't have anything Welcome unnecessary back. in our inventory. something else you'd like to look at? Only the finest. Every piece. <laughs> oh, I guess I have seen this before. Okay, that's interesting. Get rid of all this stuff. No point in having it. We're not going to use it. Okay, we are ready. Back to Red Cliff. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's all down here from hill here, guys. Downhill from here. Did I say down here from hill? I think I said that. Uh oh, looks like some fighting already started. We got some stuff on fire here. It's it's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. Yeah, get out of here. All right. 
Here we go. Ah, there's a mage. Everybody attack, attack the maze. I don't even see why I'm actually uh, looting anything at this point. Pretty much every loot that we get from here on out is, I wouldn't say worthless, but we're still in here. Okay, maybe we still do come across those things. We'll see. Okay, got this. Any mages? No mages, that's good. You see that? So I think these guys are now considered critters. Uh oh. Alright. There's actually two ogres down there. And I think that guy might be a mage. I think it's a. Hey, the chest is down. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get some I mana ready. into her. We're Let's actually going to have Alistair run into the fray. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's an emissary. Ah, she's still not dead. This might be rough. about to die or curse unable to heal well crap that kind of sucks let's do a quick heal then before she dies because she's gonna die okay wind's dead I think we could take the rest of them without much ha without much hassle. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry, Win. We have much to do.
It doesn't look like regeneration actually does anything as a spell. Her regeneration isn't really going up faster. I guess we cleared up, cleared them all out. Let's go to uh, Redcliffe and the uh, castle. We got everything on. She's got everything on. Ask away. And would so like do they. Too bad we can't sneak into the castle through that shortcut that they have. Alright, here we go. The dark spawn has sensed us. Alright, so when you're gonna have to go in immediately and use Mana Clash here. As you say. Kill that guy. Then you're gonna use Paralysis here. Send me. I shall do it. We must fight. Let us do it quickly. Get it well while you can. Some more invading here. Another. Oh, great. Good. Ooh, that could have been bad. Could have been bad. Wind almost died there too. <laughs> uh oh. That's it. An ogre alpha, huh? That's all it is, that all we got? I shall do it. That would have been more epic if there weren't clipping involved, but whatever. Yeah, look at the angry My lady, guy. You're here, thank goodness. Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked <laughs> Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. 
What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target, and only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Hey, Jess. And now Denerim is under assault by the Darkspawn. The death toll will be... staggering. I wish you luck, Grey Warden, for all our sakes. I suppose it remains to be seen what sort of king Alistair will make. Personally, I think the lad will do far better than he believes. He is Merrick's son, whether he sees it or not. He has a good heart. I can think of no better qualification. We have sent messengers to Orlais. With any luck, the Empress will send us help within a week. I think it entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already, and will seek to defend her empire first. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. He insists on going. How can I say no? I am uneasy with the danger he puts himself in by accompanying you. I ask myself if he does not conspire to leave the throne to Honora after all. But Alistair knows his duty. He will do what is best. Right now, he believes that is assisting you in contacting your allies. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling. Which is as good as a no. House Clorette's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Find time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... <sighs> Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Resting? Who can rest after the march we had just getting here? You tall races have it so easy. That and we're <laughs> kept up thinking about the coming battle. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? I hope you're right. Under the open sky is a terrible place to consider dying, that's for sure. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. 
We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. We get to talk to all of our uh get to talk to all of our uh companions. I am listening. It doesn't have better things to do. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? Good for it. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. <laughs> the truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. Good. Let us leave it at that. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. What is your wish, Kadan? I am hardly surprised. To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your fa Very well. As you wish. Okay, so maybe I don't talk to all my guys. Oh. Ah, fuck. I heard rumors that Redcliffe was once again open for business, but my world isn't this amazing. Such bustle. The Oral has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. <laughs> Might as well get everything we can, huh? Got some. These, some of that. Might as well get all of it. Greater injury kits. Those are good to go. Potent lyrium potions. Good to go. Greater lyrium potions. Good to go. Oh. Hey, look, another tome. Elf flight arrows. Gonna take those, give those to Leliana, actually use them. Heaven's Wrath. When did I not see that? That's oh, tier six. It's also not quite as good. And Master Frost Rune, Master Paralyzed Rune. Hmm. <laughs> Then, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Your friends are formidable. I'm sure. Might as well try to talk to everybody. What's on your mind? I will answer to the best of my... 
What say you? By all means. Okay, nothing new from any of my guys. What about Liliana and Arkham? I know that look. You have something on your mind. Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of... Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red. And often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent, unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Right here, old pal. Aye. All right. It shall be done. Very well. There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. There you are. I shall do Let's... it. Let's... You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest, and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon. One way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Well, that sucks. You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when the army marches. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you 
who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic, from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic, but I think that means little to one like you. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. As you wish. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. I do not wish to tell you. We will trust Morgan. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Then you have decided? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. You want to sleep with my boyfriend? <laughs> if you care for him as you seem to, you will convince him to. Consider what the alternative might be. Do you think Alistair will fail to do his duty as the future king and save his country? And if you take the blow instead, he loses the woman he loves. How do you think he would feel about that? I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. A wise decision. I shall wait here then while you go and speak with Alistair. I urge you to be convincing. He just wants to sleep with my boyfriend. I see you can't sleep either. I also saw Morrigan outside your room earlier. 
And the look she gave me? Ooh, that was icy even for her. Something up? Oh. I guess whatever Morrigan had to say, it's big. This is what I get for becoming king. Everyone always brings you the bad news. So what is it then? Rats running amok? Cheese supplies run low? I can take it. Could you make it sound more ominous? Tell me already. You mean with the Archdemon, right? If you mean running away, I can't do that. But you don't mean that, do you? What is this about? <laughs> Cute. This is payback, right, for all the jokes? But you're not joking. You're actually serious? Wow. Be killed by the Archdemon or sleep with Morrigan. How does someone make that kind of choice? You're not actually asking me this, are you? What kind of ritual is this, anyway? Well, that's reassuring. Wait, no it isn't. Look, even if I was willing to entertain this idea, and I'm not saying I am, is this really what you want me to do? Are you sure? I do trust you. If this is what you think is best, I'll do it. Oh, where is she? Let's go and get this over with before I change my mind. Oh my gosh. It would seem your talk is done. Great. This isn't a dream after all. What is it to be then? Has a decision been reached? Oh, you know, dinner would have been nice. Maybe a bit of wine. Or you could knock me out first. Tempting. Still, I am glad to see that it has been done. Let us go somewhere more private, Alistair. And believe me when I say you will not hate this quite so much as... Aw, oh, you bitch. <laughs> Oh, hell no. You're not gonna show it. Dude, what the hell? Oh, dude, what the hell, man? This is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she is hot, you know, Morgan's hot, but still. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. B 
Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. This woman beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. She is proof that glory is within reach of us all. She has survived despite the odds, and without her, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Kaelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens! So I think I'm actually going to try to finish this video. Um, might as well. Uh, give me just a moment, guys. Alright, here we go. It's like every man for himself right now, I guess. Shall we compete for points? The problem with not being arranged.
Well, they pretty much all die in one hit, at least for now. Hey, is that Bark Spawn? I am listening. <laughs> no comments about the battle when you talk to them personally? You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody nug runners are outnumbered three to one. What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume. The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. I need to go in separately. If we're together, the Archdemon will sense us before we're ready. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's huh. attention? We have little choice. Though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. Neither of them are near Fort Draken currently, but there are too many darkspawn here to tell you more. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them. But their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? My bay. Yes. We're gonna have Indeed. Leliana, the yes. dream team. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Very likely. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. So this is it, then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Onward, then, and may the Maker smile fortune upon us. So, this is it. Honor? <laughs> Nobody's looked at me and seen honor in a long time, Warden. You took in a drunken disgrace of an Orzammar warrior. You gave me a reason to fight, and the will to keep going. You helped me find the one woman in the sodding world who might put up with me. And you helped me get past Bronca so I could have someone new. I owe you a lot, Warden. I consider it a fine honor to die for you and your cause. Then it's sodding honor for everyone. <laughs> That's war for you. Let the stone turn red from the blood of heroes. Today, I will be the warrior you taught me to be. Nice. <laughs> so the Archdemon is next, is it? Part of me is glad that it has decided to leave me here at the gate. But the other part is apprehensive. I would almost say that I feel concern for something other than myself. Even maybe for a soft, squishy companion. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? And, uh, do try not to get swallowed whole. 
if the beast were to fly about afterwards and poop it out, irony would dictate that it would land on. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Well, uh -huh. I suppose this is it. Have fun storming the castle. I'm. The... <laughs> it's a big pigeon to shale. the battlefield at last. The Arishok asked, what is the blight? I stand here looking into its eyes, and still I have no answer for him. But perhaps you do. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. You are a dear, dear friend, and I will stand with you, to whatever end. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. Heading off to slay dragons without me, hmm? Fine, fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. And do watch your back. No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. After all that, I will not be going with you? <laughs> I would still see this to the end, but so be it. Let us part ways now. You go your way, to your destiny, and I go my way, to mine. I did not know what it meant to have a friend once, but you I would gladly consider such. Go, slay your archdemon. Live gloriously, my friend. So, this could be it. Soon this will be finished. One way or another. And I love you. Always. Look at what the Horde has done to the city. And so quickly. Kill those godless bastards! We're Epic. You wouldn't make her watch over you. We didn't get attacked that whole way. Oh, everybody got a level. Look at that. More willpower. Armor penetration. Meh. That's like a self heal, I guess. Good. Some more punning. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much a formality at this point, right? All right. We are good to Let go. Let us be on our way. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it here. An hour and 15 minutes. If I push this much longer, it's going to go like two hours, I think. So, we'll end it here.
keep it bite-sized, and the final battle uh, will be done in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, like and subscribe to my channel. Maybe send me a comment, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.